My, my father was from Kenya, uh, from Africa, which is where I got my name. My mother was from Kansas, which is where I got my accent from. It's the image of the heartland, uh, the, the, the young woman from Kansas. That's what the campaign talks about. But her formative years, uh, uh, from eighth grade through high school, were spent in the Pacific Northwest. One year in Seattle and two years in a, in a semi-rural island just east of Seattle called Mercer Island. It has been so much sticky fun, but best of luck to a real swell guy. Have fun this summer. Love ya. Stanley. She introduced herself as Stanley Dunham. She just explained, my father wanted a son, I'm it. <laughs> it became quickly obvious that her her unusual name uh, probably came along with a, with a, a sort of a, a, a young lady that wanted to go by her own drum. She was a free thinker. She was one who was skeptical. She was very intellectual. Uh, she may not have been, been miles ahead of her classmates, but she was ahead of most of her classmates in the kinds of things that she thought about. Our lockers were right next door to each other because I was a Botkin and she was a Dunham and our lockers were next door to each other all through high school. So I always had Stanley in my life every morning at the locker. Right there on the top. I just remember a lot of time talking. Tis I. Uh, we would you know, sit up late at night and talk about the world and about what, we're at our, and what we wanted to do and where we wanted to go. And, and we were, again, trying to criticize the, the, the foibles of the generation that, uh, that came before us. And Stanley, 1959 Quill and Scroll. She was always very positive and, and certain about the goodness of people. And I like that about her. And I see that in him. I like that about him. And now a candidate for President of the United States, Senator Barack Obama. But to have sat around and thought in those days, again, that any one of us would have produced a child that would have run for President of the United States, I think that would have been a far, far-fetched notion.